Hello YouTube, I hope you're having a great day. I was recently asked if I could record a video on Excel referencing, and it's been on my list of things to do. So today we're gonna talk about relative, absolute, and mixed references. Let's go ahead and jump into Excel. In today's video, we're gonna look at using relative, absolute, and mixed referencing. Let's go ahead and begin by looking at relative referencing. I'm gonna go ahead and put my cursor here in D11. And what I wanna do is do a simple calculation that subtracts the amount owed with the amount paid. To do that, I'm gonna type equal on my keyboard. I'm gonna select the amount owed. I'm gonna do the subtraction symbol, and I'm gonna select the amount paid, and I'm gonna hit enter. And notice it went ahead and made that calculation. This person hadn't paid anything, so they still owe that full amount. Now, because this is a relative reference, I'm able to use the autofill to carry this formula down. Here I had B11 minus C11, but when I click here in row 12, notice it went from B11 to B12 and from C11 to C12. And each cell carries that same referencing because the formula used the next cell down when we use the autofill. Most of your referencing is gonna be a relative reference. Now that I have this information here, what I'm gonna do is calculate how much of the money that's owed to me is owed by Marks Automotive and all the other companies. Let me do a quick sum function here. So now I have a total amount that's owed to me. I'm gonna go ahead and put my cursor here and what we're gonna do is look at using an absolute reference for this. I'm gonna go ahead and do equals my balance owed divided by the total amount that's owed to me. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter on my keyboard. And notice it tells me that Mark's Automotive is 11% of what is owed to me. Now, when I click and drag down, I get a bunch of errors. This is because you can't divide by zero. As I look here, this was good, but why was this wrong? Well, let me click here in the formula bar, and now I can see that it's D12 being divided by an empty cell. And that's why I'm getting an error message here. What I need to do in my original calculation make it to where this cell here, D23, is locked, or make it an absolute reference. Now this is easy enough to do. What you wanna do is to select your reference here, and a keyboard shortcut is to use F4, and notice it went ahead and placed dollar signs in front of my column and my row. I'm gonna hit enter. You could have typed those in should you have chosen to, but the F4 keyboard shortcut will make your life a lot easier. Now when I use autofill, Notice that D23 is always the same in each of my calculations here, and that's because it's an absolute reference. That's very important. Let me go ahead and switch worksheet tabs because we're going to look at it in a different way. We are going to look at using a mixed reference on this worksheet. What we have here is four different food trucks. Each food truck sells the same six items, and this table tells us the amount of sales for each item over the course of a work week. And then our last column has the totals for each item. What we're going to do is look at each item and figure out what the percentage of the total was made for each of those days. And we're going to do that for every item. Let's go ahead and put our cursor here in M12. We'll go ahead and type equal on our keyboard. We'll select C12 divided by H12. And let's go ahead and make that an absolute reference here. And we're going to go ahead and hit enter. Now when I click and drag this to the right, Everything looks good. If I click up here in the formula bar, I can see that Tuesday is being divided by H12. Let me go ahead and continue filling that down. And I'm just gonna pick a random cell here and put our cursor back in the formula bar to look at our formula. We don't want chicken sandwiches from the east route to be divided by the hamburger sales from the north route. That doesn't make sense. Let me go ahead and hit escape and, and look back at our original formula. The reason that this formula didn't work is because we want H12 to slide down. So let's look at changing this reference. I'm gonna go ahead and select that reference again. I'm gonna go ahead and hit F4 on my keyboard. This time, notice that the dollar sign is only in front of the row. I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter. Let's see if this works for us. I'm gonna go ahead and drag right. Oh, I'm already getting error messages. Let's look at the N12 reference here. I'm gonna go ahead and 
click back in my formula bar to see that the reference is starting to carry right. And we don't want that. We don't want it to slide to I. So we must have put the absolute part in the wrong spot. Let's try this again. Let me go ahead and undo what I did. This time I'm gonna select my reference again and I'm gonna hit F4 again. And notice now that my dollar sign is in front of my column. I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter again to set our reference here. I'm gonna go ahead and click and drag right. Let me go ahead and click here and just test out our formula. And it looks good. We have Wednesday divided by our total. I'll hit escape just to back out of that. And let's go ahead and click and drag down this time. Let's go ahead and not carry the formatting this time. So I'll go ahead and undo that. And let's pick a random cell here. Let's do hot dogs. We'll go ahead and put our cursor here in the formula bar. And it looks good. We have hot dogs sales for Tuesday being divided by that total row. And we have that across the board. Let's choose another cell. Same thing. Using the F4 key, of course, you can manually type in each of those dollar signs, but as we hit the F4 key, it's going to cycle out. Let's look at this. F4, nothing. And that's how you start. So we hit F4 once. Both are absolute. The second time I hit F4, it's the row. If I hit it again, it's the column. And if I hit it again, it cancels out all absolute reference. And so what we have here in this table is called a mixed reference using relative, absolute, and mixed referencing in your workbook is gonna take you to another level. Thank you for watching this video. My hope always as I create new content is that my viewers feel better able to carry out tasks in Microsoft. If you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That way you get a notification when I release my next video. Do you have a suggestion on a video that I should make? Leave a comment below. Let me know what you want me to create. That way I can better help you.